Hey everybody, welcome to episode 139 of 4Player Anime Cast. It is 10.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the East Coast of the United States, March 7th, 2020, and this is the last review we're going to be doing for the winter 2020 season before we move on to our spring 2020 preview and of course, you know, the stuff that comes after. Hopefully we've covered a decent amount of the stuff that you guys might want to hear about for you guys. I'm pretty sure we covered most of the major thing, pretty much all of the major things, except for maybe what Dorohedro. But Dorohedro apparently ended up becoming a trainer. Hey, right? Did you cover it? No, oh, he said he didn't want to cover it. Oh, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't want to cover it because literally all I was going to say is uh, <laughs> read the manga. Like, yeah, 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 that 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 counts. But other than that, um, we pretty much covered everything. So hopefully, you guys got the. Uh, Got to listen to the series you want you want to hear about. Anyways, with that being said, we are all here. Say the sound. Toast is with us. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> and uh, nobody is suffering due to the coronavirus. That's good. And I hope who, who, that all the listeners here are safe too. Who 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 said I I didn't. <laughs> what? Just like, he's got it right now. Yeah, it's gonna be like left for <laughs> left for dead, but it's just like it's like through the monitor. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, the coronavirus is a is what is it? What is it? a genus? A family? What is it? What's the word? A kingdom? Well, what's what's the um, what's the vernacular for it? A host. I mean, it's um, of airborne uh, illnesses. It's not, it's not just an organism, one. right? Because it's a virus. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but anyway, it, 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 there's a lot of things that could be considered the coronavirus. How how do you know you don't have it? Maybe you just don't have the not. Maybe you just have the non-lethal one. <laughs> just, just maybe like, you'll get it in two weeks or less. You know. God. But yeah. Anyways, uh, with that being said, how is everybody doing? Near. Um, I'm all right. Good. I'm playing uh, Halo One Combat Evolved with yes, yes, yes. Sin right now. Uh, are Are you casting it? No. Why, why not? I'll host you. Uh-huh. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, okay. So you you be... got you got the one with the funny mods, the, the funny meme mods. Is that what what's it called again? I don't know if they have Halo. Uh... No, that Halo that's Halo. cursed Halo. Yeah, but... not, not gonna happen on uh, on Steam. Uh, yeah, not for not for a very long time, at least. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, been playing Grand Blue Versus, which came out uh, yes. uh, in the West. And hopefully, I'll be playing a week. Who's, who's your yeah. main? Um, as of right now, uh, Beelzebub, because all the other characters that I wanted to play are really fucking bad. Awesome. I Bas- think you're Bas- just Raga like, like yeah, Boss Rock. Boss Rock is the yeah. worst character like I think I've ever seen. You could do stuff. You could, yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw. Yeah, you could Boss do Raga. stuff like yeah, miss yeah, uh, yeah. every yeah. fucking anti air <laughs> <laughs> and like die and have no reversal and just like probably have some of the worst matchups like ever imagined in a fighting game. <laughs> You have like, super I, armor that honestly yeah, makes yeah. it worse. Yeah, you have super armor that doesn't uh, apply to the startup of moves. <laughs> it's, good. it's good. It's really good. Um, but yeah, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good of that, though. So, yeah. Okay. Pretty okay. Good. So we'll uh, be getting to you in just a bit. Toast. Yeah. How have your past couple of weeks been? I got the Go Flight type level two. It's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty, okay. pretty cool. Better than the regular goof. No one All likes right. those weird ass fi- finger Vulcans. <laughs> okay. All, all, real men use wrist mounted Vulcans. Not 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 f- ugly hands. Also, it flies. Y- y- okay. y- you know what the goof flight type looks like? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Have Have you seen battle Battle in three dimensions? Maybe, maybe you should. It's pretty good. Goof flight type. Is that just the one that doesn't have any legs? No, oh, no. It's the one. Dark. Have you not seen battle in three dimensions? Host. I've seen like fucking three Gundam series. You've never seen O Eighth MS Team battle in three dimensions. I have seen. Here's the Gundam series I've seen. I have seen Seed. I have seen. Have you seen Destiny? G, 
I have seen Iron Blooded Orphans, and I have seen uh, Build Fighters. What kind of Yikes, track bro. record is that? And Build Fighters is the best one out of all of the ones I've watched. Nier, have you seen Battle in Three Dimensions? Uh, that's the movie. No, that's the that's the uh, the OVA included in the Blu-ray, I believe. Oh, I don't think I've seen that it's one. It's on YouTube. Look it up. Goo flight type. It's pretty cool. I got it. <laughs> uh, anyways, other than uh, no. Uh... Uh, it's, it, you can't shoot me out of the air so easily with that. Great. Okay, well, well, well other, than, other than the Gundam stuff, uh, anything. Did you know Corona finally beat Super Castlevania? It only took her like 13 hours, so congratulations that was, to her. That was a fucking disaster. But you beat it. I kept all tabbing to see where she was. And she beat it. She kept falling down the same fucking staircase. I mean, Picotto was streaming. Was it Ghouls of Ghosts for like seven hours last night? Yeah. <laughs> and it was all just like her dying over and over again. Yeah. You, uh. you, you know you know what else was cool? Suise, Suise got her 3D. Congratulations to her. And then Inui Toko was one day after that, and they had similar, like, they had similar uh, viewers and m- monies. Good, good for them. Gee, I wonder uh, why. Maybe they <laughs> well, should do a collab. <laughs> oh. Anyways, uh. Oh, I for, I forgot. But Spire doesn't like Hollow Life. What? Oh, you're a Niji song kind of guy. I what? I've never said anything about Hollow Life. Spire Arnie hates said. women. Yeah, I hate women. Actually, it's just uh, just the way things have to be. But anyways, Dark. What have you been up to these past two weeks? Um. I've also been playing Grand Blue Versus. Nice. Uh, been drinking, you know. That's been it's been good. Uh, been drinking good. and playing Grand Blue Versus. Uh, Centauri <laughs> whiskey fucking sucks, by the way. <laughs> Yo, um, wait, wait, I'm wait, never you, buying you... Japanese whiskey ever again. I don't know why. <laughs> as a fucking Irishman, I decided. Yeah, you know what. It, I love Jameson, but uh, let me let me hit up some Japanese whiskey. Yeah, it's fucking bad. Uh, Somebody, you saying you don't like rice? Suntory <laughs> whiskey's so bad. It's just uh, if you take the flavor of Jameson or Jack Daniels, and if you watered it down Already with like bad. rubbing alcohol, that would be what this is. It's just it's not good. You know, yeah, you're not you're not convinced by it. <laughs> no, it's just it's not good like okay. at all. There's no it's just good. it's weird. Uh, it okay. it's fine mixed, but it's not very good otherwise. Uh, okay, okay, okay. uh but yeah, you know, Grand Blue Versus has been pretty fun. Um, you are you are you you're all the Narmaya chain? <laughs> yeah, I'm a Narmaya main. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yikes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Narmaya okay, no. uh, so, so I, I seriously believe that it's gonna. I mean, like obviously, other than the people who like actually pick and player, it's gonna like it's gonna start dying out in like a couple of weeks. You know what I mean? Where it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's almost like we called this immediately. Like she's the bacon, the bacon. <laughs> like, everyone's be like, whoa, I love Narmaya so much. She's so cool. And then in a week from now, they're gonna be like, Graham, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is this fighting game? <laughs> I like I like the way I like the way she plays a lot in this game. I I like the fact that she has like the two different stances with uh, the yeah. different cooldowns. I think that's really neat. Um, I think that's a fun thing to think about, right? Like you know, you pop your you basically like do your combos and blow your cooldowns on the one stance, but then you can switch stances mid combo. It kind of uh, the, the cool with down, other cooldowns. The the cooldown kind of reminds me of act, like the switching cooldowns kind of reminds me of actually like MOBA stuff. You know what I mean? Like because it's like cause you know how it's like you have you, like you can kind of like switch through cycles, or it's like you can be in like you can you can like there are some heroes or champions, whatever. That have this thing where it's like you can use a skill, and then as soon as that thing's on cooldown, you can kind of like switch to another like you know stance or mode or whatever, right? Yeah. And then you can use the skills in that. Uh... <laughs> I was thinking, um... <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's I don't know, it's it's I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah she sucks she... though. 
whatever, dude. You you listen. Why, why are you so negative? <laughs> and yeah, listen. Like compared to fucking Catalina, like everyone in the game is absolute ass. So you know. Um. Uh, but yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for Zooey. That's pretty fun. That was a cool leak. It's the, the the weird thing is I I hope the later characters aren't going to be too similar to like the pre because it's like because of na- the nature of Jita and like Zui and stuff like that like it could be a little bit more similar to what we already have so it depends on what they want to do with Zui um, that's true I feel like they might do weird uh, I don't know I, I would like to see her even though Narmaya is basically already kind of weapon master like gimmick thing but I'd kind of like to see weird shit with Zui where in game right now they show her as the sword and shield Zui, but if they make her more of like in her move sets, she's using all of her weapons. That would be really neat. Since probably you not know, gonna happen, bro. Yeah, probably yeah. not. <laughs> I, I don't know if I have faith that it's gonna be uh, as grand as grandiose as I uh, am hoping. But you know, I'll probably play her because it's Zooey. So yeah. you know, well, well, we'll see. I expect honestly. I don't know. I was talking to. Um, I think I was talking to her post last night about it, but I don't think I feel like she's probably gonna come out pretty decent, like soon, relatively speaking. Mm-hmm. Just because, like, I I forget who I think near you might have said like you know she might be the announcement at Evo, but I feel like season two, like more season two characters might be the announcement at Evo. Like these characters are coming out pretty fast. It'd be a massive gap for her to not be out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But. I mean, we also just... don't even have a trailer for Sora's and Gita, so. Yeah, but didn't they say they were coming out in April? Like, the characters themselves? Apparently, but I don't know if that's, like, reliable at this point. True. Alright, yeah, well, you know, we'll see. The game overall is pretty fun. Um, I hate the RPG mode, but, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, the RPG mode, I've heard a little bit of suspect stuff about that. Oh, well. I look, as soon as I see a grid, it's like I've made grids in regular Grand Blue. I don't want to <laughs> fucking do it again. I have no, I have absolutely no fucking interest in touching a grid ever again. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny because, like, upgrading and, like, uncapping weapons in Grand Blue versus RPG mode is literally more seamless and, like, better implemented. Than in regular Grandma. <laughs> yeah, I thing saw is, the skill, like... the skill fucking gems. I'm like, wow, this is like actually how they should work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, I see a grid, and I'm like, nah, I don't even want to press the buttons. This is like too many steps. I don't want to do it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh been interesting. But yeah, 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 it's pretty good. Hopefully, I'll be able to. I want to check it out. Yeah. Soon. God damn it. But yeah, anyway. other than that, you know. Okay, okay. I've been we'll watching do. new shows. Been, nice, nice. Been checking so, out some so, other stuff. So who's the strongest DLC fighter? Uh, uh, nobody knows yet. But I, I don't think either of them. I think. Well, okay. Let's 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 have this discussion later. Are we gonna we gonna have this discussion okay. later? But anyway. is is Zui stronger than Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku? He's coming out soon. <laughs> I know. It's a good question. Uh, but anyways, do you, you mean lore wise? Do you think <laughs> do you think he'll be a counter fighter? I think he <laughs> will be. <laughs> Not sure, but uh, who cares? Anyways, uh, I guess I'll just quickly talk. Um, nothing too much recently. Again, pe- things have been all a little bit of a lockdown because of coronavirus going here and there. Are, right? are you um, are you stuck in Korea too? I am not stuck in Korea, <laughs> um, and I'm glad that uh, none of my immediate family members are stuck in Korea either, which is nice. Uh, um, that was relatively uneventful, I think. Um, I read the thing is okay. So last episode, I think last podcast, I was talked about um, reading Summer Pockets, which is again uh, a visual, the newest visual novel. Are you stuck in the United States? That's a good question. Uh, the newest visual novel by Key Slash Visual Arts, uh, Key Studio Slash Visual Arts, um, who are the same people that made stuff like Clonod, Air, Canon, stuff like that, right? Uh, what what uh, version uh, you got? What do you mean? What version do I got? You playing the Switch version like Akai, ha- a- Akai Heart? Uh, Hato, no, I don't have not, a Switch. <laughs> I am not, playing the PC version. You, you don't want to play Smash? No. Uh, mm-hmm. 
But yeah, it's uh, I am playing through it, and I expressed my reservations in the last episode, and I think Nier agreed with me a little bit about, especially after rewrite. Um, although Jun Maida is heading this after rewrite, and um, uh, a little bit of shakeup. I, I, I'm not sure if the little no, sorry, the Angel Beats visual novel was any good, but uh, I guess it was okay. okay. But uh, has it even I been translated a... yet? Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. Uh... But um, yeah, I, I had some reservations, and uh, it. I don't know. It's like it's like the pacing is definitely slow, but it's like I'm not I'm not sure if I'm convinced by it. I'm just like I'm going through. I'm like, I need to find the motivation for me to keep reading this story you know what i mean it's like uh, something is going on or like oh this character is out and doing something but i think a lot of it's just like it, it's a story that wants to do something right it's like it's a story that ha does have a motivation but it's like that motivation is like way further in the back it's like it's like it's like in the back of the bus like anti rosa parks kind of level Kind of, <laughs> kind of uh, delay in, in when they're exposing the motivation for a reading story, and yeah. right now so much of it's still like, oh yeah, you're you're just chilling on this island, dude. And the main character's like, man, I'm so aimless. What am I doing here? Blah blah. blah. And it's like that's good. That's uh, good. All right. It's so like, fun. It's always fun to read, right? Yeah, I know. it's like it's like I know that has to be like slightly a thing in in a lot a lot of you know more slice of life, more sort of slower paced visual novels but i just don't want it to drag out for too long before they at least tell me about this sort of like what's going on you know what i mean yeah um so i so I'm not so, so far, but I, I hope it speeds up <laughs> why, why is it called summer pocket who's I in the pocket would it not i would not know <laughs> i would not is know it pockets like there's there's pockets of sunshine and then it's all rain that kind of pocket. Uh, maybe maybe it's like you're a, probably right. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's that or like a pocket of time. I don't know. Some some pocket. Is of it a, like is it a metaphor for po Yeah, is it a metaphor for pockets of time, like your childhood and your high school, <laughs> high school years, just like Lynette and Little Busters were? <laughs> well, we'll we'll see. I I hope it doesn't do very weird. I hope. <laughs> I, I, the one thing that again we can be thankful for is that Clonod did not have an inventory system, <laughs> and that worked out well for Clonod. I hope uh, nothing weird happens in Clonod. Did uh, grid-based ha inventory management. <laughs> didn't Clonod like, fucking have start the, uh... rotating snacks and bento yeah, boxes? Yeah. <laughs> the worst part is I think I think that like I think all the inventory system was gonna uh, take care of were just like you know um like for like each route and stuff like that you collect like the lights of the city or whatever right i think the inventory was just gonna have those lights <laughs> which is evil verse you just like oh, oh yeah okay this is just <laughs> i just have the lights of the city i guess <laughs> in my but um yeah i'm not too convinced by it so far but hopefully it'll it'll flow out better but anyways uh i am that's that was my last uh, couple of weeks, and let's start right Nier, off. Nier, what'd you do? Nier already what? talked about what he did. I forgot what he thought. Um, oh, where? Right, Halo. Okay. He was also yes. grand. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, starting off, toast. What's up? What do you have for us today? What the heck is this? Oh, uh, I can't find my picture. So I watched uh, Dragon Quest: Your Story. It's on Netflix. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the weird looking fucking three D one, right? That I mean, I I get like I got Pixar, right? I got used to the weird faces over time, but this reminds me of Thunderbolt Fantasy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> they... reminds me of Thunderbolt Fantasy. Thunderbolt Fantasy, the fucking the puppet show. The puppet yeah, that, show that uh, that uh, uh, Genu Rabuchi did. <laughs> I think it's still going on now, actually. I like, know it got, got a season two. Yeah. I do know that. But anyways, yeah. uh, did you like I mean, it despite the it was, weird claymation? It was trunk. It, like, I got used to the faces over time, and it, it's really well animated. So, uh, but 
the story's kind of truncated in a way. No, well, it has to be. I mean, yeah, but they they yeah. took out the entire they took out the entire arc of uh, going to the kingdom of Gotha and whatnot. Yeah. So now now he just got instead of being the prince of Gotha, spoil Dragon Quest Five spoilers whatever. He just got this shab shabby hovel in Wheelbrook, and I'm like, you can't do that. Some shots of this look like a Pixar movie, but the other shots yeah, I was gonna like say Like it, it looks like like the close in like the the good like kind of almost still shots look like Pixar, but the other ones just look like like straight up claymation. Like you know what I mean? It's like it's very uh, yeah. And they they removed one of the hero the the, the children the hero's children, so they mm -hmm. just got they just got the uh, the little boy that looked like Super Saiyan Gohan and not the girl. And I'm like. Can't do that. <laughs> you have you have to. Uh, but I guess it was to balance out the party composition. But I'm like, <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> you 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 removed one of the children. Also, like Cecilion said, it was it was a tolerable movie up to the final ending scene, which I won't spoil. But it got really bad. Nah, like, like, yeah, re that's, re that's like always... re really really bad. And I'm like, god damn it. You almost had it. It almost ruined the entire movie for me. <laughs> when that happens, now you have an ex instead of instead of uh, the talk about filler. You know how people are like, this series was really good except for the filler. Blah blah blah. blah. You should just be like, this part, this series was really good except for the parts that coronavirus ruined. Because it's like you know how they're like delaying stuff and like <laughs> like legit like keeping people away from studios and stuff now because yeah, uh, all, all my Chinese web novels were. Uh... Or web, 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 yeah, webtoons. They were delayed for like a month because of coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're back. But yeah, I, it's still it's still good enough to watch though. I mean, it's on it's, it's on Netflix. Just just watch it. But remember yeah. the the ending sex. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh, and then uh, well, the, what I really watched. Oh my God, tell us no, <laughs> please. <laughs> was. Oh, the Nobunaga no Cinnamon, yeah. Why the fuck did you not tell us about? I did. Doing... I did. You you didn't look at the chat, did you? You. I thought you were doing one or the other. Yeah, I thought you were doing. One or the other. <laughs> I talked but... about Dragon Quest for like two minutes. Now I talk about the real thing. Yeah, but it's yeah. a meme, so I'll allow it. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah just, just, so, just so so so. I uh, I don't know anything about the Warring States era. Is it the Warring? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Warring... Is it? Think so. No, it's no. no was it it's... No, wasn't Nobunaga like dead? Seng... Just call it the feudal. Then? You can call it the Sengoku. Sengoku. No, there no no. The the I know I know. There's three. There's a. I'm pretty sure Nobunaga what? was dead before the Warring States because the Warring call States. Call it the Sengoku era. Just call it the Sengoku era, or Sengoku period. See, yeah. see, there's a Sengoku Jidai, which is when Inuyasha takes place, all right? And then there's the Meiji era, that's when Kenshin takes place, so what's the one where... No, it's, yeah, Oda Nobunaga's in, in the Sengoku period. I, I googled yep. it. Yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's not the that's... Warring States. Uh, okay, <laughs> so, okay, so, so Warring Sorry. States, Seng okay, where was I? So, so in the beginning of the series, Oda Nobunaga's like, if I die, I want to become a dog. <laughs> and then, spoiler, he becomes a dog. And like this, that's the whole premise of the uh, premise of this series. Creative. No, Nobunaga's yeah. reincarnated into a Shiba Inu because I guess that's the quintessential Japanese dog. Sure. <laughs> I guess okay. most popular. What, what 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 was what's that one meme dog again? The sheep, the, me the meme dog, the Doge is the it's Shiba Inu. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, Shiba. there you go. Yeah. Well, what was was it cheeseburger? Yeah, was or was that the cat? Damn, no, cat these are old is like memes. Has cheeseburger, bro. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> I I don't remember old memes. You could you could just say the, the, dog the only the one like I remember <laughs> is like a the, the badger one. That's like. <laughs> What was it? The ba badger, badger, mushroom, snail, sheep? What was it? Stop, yeah, it was dude. Just badger, badger, I... mushroom. Dude, that's my favorite fucking translation for Suda Zuda children. How did you know? 
<laughs> Fuck yeah, you just keep going. <sighs> Toast. Yeah, so, so you got Nobunaga, and then you got a pug who's that. Date Masumune, because he's got the eye patch over his one eye. Mm-hmm. And you got Takeda Shingen, Isegi Kenshin. Then I forget the rest, but they're all they're all they're all various dogs. Okay. So so this series is is it a four comma? I don't know. I didn't look at the uh, I didn't look at the manga, but it's sh- it's little vignettes about hey look at me I I am Oda Nobunaga and I'm a dog. Here's some dog facts. Did you know that? Did you know that if you don't walk your dog for a long time, they they get smelly farts. So they're, it's pretty much it's pretty much like ninety percent dog trivia, but it's like they're speaking. No, it's it's half and half. So, okay, okay, it, okay, it's okay. it's so it's, it's, ha- it's half here. We're gonna do dog things like like smelly farts, dog, and their 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 feet smell like cinnamon cookies or, or okay. chocolate chip cookies, but don't smell <laughs> Oda Nobunaga's feet because he's an old man. So it looks weird when two high school girls are smelling Oda Nobunaga's feet. There was a good picture of that, but I'm not going to post that because it'd be weird. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and then the other half is uh, just trivia about the Sengoku period. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I like okay. blanked out through that because I'm like, I don't care. Well, I do <laughs> care, but... I should care because it's the main premise of the series, Toast. But uh, yeah, I, I, I can... care. I care enough. Like, hey, I remember that from Odu Nobunaga no Chef. That's like the only. <laughs> uh, that's like the only knowledge I have of the Nobunaga stuff. I didn't play a uh, Goku Muso. I just read that one. Yeah, manga. but like now, this is how you build up your knowledge about Nobunaga. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. But yeah, it's a show. I don't Does know. Does he get a gun? Or... No. You're think you're thinking of Date Masumune. He had a gun. A rifle. Uh, Nobunaga liked guns, didn't he? Isn't that a whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was that like one. Also, uh, yeah. Mer- Mer- what was it Marie Antoinette? Was it not Marie Antoinette? Uh, yeah, it is. Marie Antoinette's in this show, and she's like a female dog, and oh, she yeah. she says, "Let them eat cake," and I'm like. Why is she in Japan? Dude, <laughs> this is like the fate stay night of dog. <laughs> of, of, warring, of of Japanese feudal dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but anyways. Wait, uh, I, I'm, I'm waiting for like Lu Bu to show up. For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon to show up. Napoleon He's dog. got sick like fucking long ears. Oh my he, god. Probably, well, he's probably be a rabbit, right? Yeah. Because of, of his funny, funny headdress. But yeah, uh, overall, what'd you think of the series? It's all right. I like it enough. <laughs> okay. Do- dogs are cool. Dogs. <laughs> Definitely the wise saying of this podcast. My, dogs my, are cool. Thank uh, you. <laughs> I, I I don't know. It, it, yeah. I, I didn't learn much from it. I'm kind of zoning out from the warring states, Sengoku period stuff. I don't know. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you pick this series? Why not? It's like. You knew half of this was just gonna be about something that you wouldn't listen to. <laughs> well, how would he know it's gonna be half? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, fr- fr- from like from the picture, you think, oh, he's probably gonna, he's probably gonna reunite with his other feudal Japan Sengoku era cohorts and try to rule something. No. But wouldn't that still involve? <laughs> it, it would, that would still involve Japanese history, right? Yeah, <laughs> but be like, history's Ooh. being made. The yeah. gods are taking over now. They'd be like, "I'm gonna rule over this section of Japan." He's like, "Oh no, I'm a dog. I, I'm getting, Honestly, I'm getting oh, used to being no, a dog." A dog. <laughs> <laughs> he refused. Honestly, I'd probably watch Toast Idea more than this series. But, he, uh, he was all, he was all like, "Oh no." I, I like I I'm a dog. I'm getting used to being a dog, and uh, this what is, this air conditioning? What is this? And I was Fuck like, that, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> also, apparently, token token Rambu exists in this universe. Okay. But it's not called token Rambu because you can't call it that because they're, they're owners. <laughs> they're the the dogs owners. All girls are like, oh, these swords are so hot. And then Oda Nobunaga's like, hey, those are my swords. But in the game, the swords are like, Nobunaga, you suck and you have smelly feet. Yeah. And he was all like, I thought I took care of my swords so well. 
But apparently <laughs> only Date Masamune took care of his sword, so they love him. And that's a whole side quest stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. This show's good. This show Oh, also I also I have to say <laughs> this show has is is has the best ending of the entire season, possibly twenty twenty already. You should check it oh, out. Wait. Okay. It's, it's I that, actually can't tell if you're being serious right now. <laughs> that you, ch check it out, Nier. That that that's that three D C G I think it's better <laughs> than B Stars, man. Anyways, uh well we'll definitely check that out. Check check check, check it out right now. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, but, uh, uh, who, who made this? Some random studio. Who cares? It's a short, uh, right? Saint studio Saint. Signpost. They have worked on this and Kingdom third season. <laughs> okay. Kingdom it's, third season. Very specific. It's its third season. <laughs> That's literally all they worked on. Oh, my God. How come, Any? How come when I clicked on it Wikipedia, I went to Piero? What is this? Are they like an offshoot Piero of Piero? Piero might be helping. Oh, it's a, it's a subsidiary. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Well, didn't come from a bad place, but I'm not sure how much exactly that uh, sister company or the, the, the shoot off will uh, offshoot. We'll do oh, yeah, we it. didn't actually establish. Final question from me. Is this actually a short? No, it's full. It's not a it's short. Not it's all, it's all, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna shit. say, is this a full or a short? Yeah, I watched all. Full? I've watched all of the full nine episodes. Pretty oh good. My oh my <laughs> god! How did you do that? <laughs> oh my god! I, I like I like dogs. <laughs> I yeah, I don't I don't know, man. I, I mean, I it, 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 it wasn't. It didn't really get boring, other than the the, the fake history parts. Where like, this is where. Like uh, this this is where Nobunaga was betrayed by this dude. I'm like, that's cool. I won't remember the names. And <laughs> that's not fake. <laughs> what? And then it's like Oda Nob and then it's like S S Oda Nobunaga Cinnamon doesn't like fires because he died in that fire. And then like yeah. don't 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 eat don't eat uh, sweet potatoes. They'll get farts. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know. No. So this show's great. Good enough. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it uh, reminds me of like what was that one show with with the statues? Seco oh, Boys or whatever. Yeah, I Seco guess. Boys. Wow, well, this one's better because it's got dogs. <laughs> well, so, yeah. if it it's not quite a high standard to break, but anyways, uh, thank I'll, you. I'll for... I'll recommend it. Why not? Okay. okay. Well, thank you, Thomas, for talking about uh, Oda Cinnamon Oda Cinnamon Nobunaga. I believe is the name. Uh, and with that. I will quickly kind of cover my series. Uh, this is a series that I actually wanted to cover at the beginning of the season, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. It is called Natsunagu. And um, so the. I, th I think. Um, Isn't this an original? What? Wasn't this, yeah, a... this, is, this is an original? This is an yeah. original. So. Um, I believe the title is like essentially sort of talking about like transliterate. It's, it's called a summer calm, but um, yeah, it's about a person from Tokyo, a university student in Tokyo who meets a friend online and wants to visit her. This but is that about the uh, the earthquakes, right? Yes, yes, it is about. But her friend is in Kumamoto, and Kumamoto in real life, as well as obviously in the series, uh, was hit by an earthquake. And uh, so because she couldn't contact her after the earthquakes happened, or the earthquake happened, she goes to Kumamoto and you know, tries to find the friend. And it's like a general short. It's four minutes, but like half of it's like the ending. So it's like two, maybe three minutes here. Um, so audiovisuals wise, uh, the audio, it's very weird. It's very weird because... Um, I believe from the way the, the characters are drawn, I think the chief animator behind um, K-On! Uh, and like the other stuff at K-On! is, is very behind much looks like it. Yeah, exactly. So like the still like pictures of still close-ups of like the characters and stuff like that look good. Like it's, it's solid. It's not like obvious like with that sort of chief animator, right? But it's like all the in-betweens and like, you know, you know, the general animation 
it is very much like it's essentially web animation level. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like it's like some ten frames per second kind of shit. But um, so it's not great, but obviously it was done on a budget, right? So can't expect too much, I guess. But uh, that's sort of that. The visuals are, or sorry, the audio is fine. The ending is nice. Uh, it's all sort of like general, like relaxing kind of ballad, uh, ballad uh, uh, music. Not nothing too special there. And for the plot, it's like it's very weird because I think this sort of acts as like a microcosm of like some of the problems in the anime industry right now with regards to writing a storyboard kind of stuff because like how do i say this so the general things it kind of wanted to do right it wanted to go to kumamoto and like you know show off you know kumamoto people and whatever right like a little bit or like what happened and um it kind of does that for like one or two episodes and it's like, oh, this is how people in Kumamoto speak and blah, blah, blah. Although like literally every one of the characters in Kumamoto uh, speaks like their, that like super strong dialect, which is a little bit weird. Obviously, it's like it's like being in somewhere in like, I don't know, like Tennessee or whatever and hearing literally everybody have the same sort of like accent. And you're like, mm, I don't think that's how that works. I don't think that's how accents work. Yeah, you wouldn't think. It was <laughs> um, but that's sort of how that went. And then the rest of the series is about both talking about sort of both trying to imply the impacts of the Kumamoto earthquake. Like the earthquake, you know, caused a lot of sort of you know, displacement and chaos and blah, blah, blah. And also talking about, um, you know, how the how the main girl, um, I believe her name is Natsuna, wants to get to and meet um, her friend, who was affected by said earthquake. And I think it's very, it it it, it gets very dramatic, or it gets very sort of like emotional at like uh, past a certain point, where it's just like. After a couple of episodes, it's just like, oh man, you know how the earthquake you know affected us all. You might not be able to find her because she's, you know, she she's just out there. It's like she she kind of had to move away. She could she could handle it. Blah, blah, blah. And like <laughs> suddenly like talking gone. talking about like you know emotional baggage of like the impacts of the earthquake. I'm just like, Jesus like fucking seventeen hundreds. Like fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what do you mean? It's like it's like it's like. Uh, like I get this is a disaster and they had to deal with it. It's very sad and stuff like that. But I feel like it was not like the moment I encounter like the emotional baggage stuff and it's just like oh you know um, the girl you're looking for you know it, it might be hard to meet her because she she doesn't she doesn't want to talk she doesn't want to talk to people after the earthquake and all this sort of stuff right. Like once that happened, I was just like I don't mind the message. But the message is a little bit too big, I think, to be properly contained within a short, especially when like a quarter to a half of that short is just the ending song. You know what I mean? Um, so I think it was very... Um, I, it was trying to juggle a lot of stuff. Again, it was trying to handle the idea of Kumamoto and the Kumamoto earthquake. Yeah, I mean, in and order it was trying to... to to the relationship thing or like, you know, trying to find the girl, you know, dealing with, you know, hearing people talk about the psychological impacts and everything. And I was just like, oh my God, this is, <laughs> they have like two minutes per episode. And it's only right now, it's only been like nine episodes or something like that. And so it's like, you literally had the span of maybe like one episode, one or two episodes in like a full anime to like, <laughs> to cover this entire thing. I'm just like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, I mean, just, just in order to pull off something like that, you would need like a full fucking character backstory and like yeah, it, just full on character and, development and a little for bit more that. To talk about like the background of the earthquake and like seeing kind of people like dealing with it and stuff like that, right? Yeah, so, but it kind of just can't. 
just went on straight ahead. I was like, yeah, oh. you can't just throw in a character and be like, hey, they're not going to talk to anyone ever again. You yeah, know why? Like, so, because it's like a lot of damage comes out of crazy. Like, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people do go through that. A lot of people go through worse. Well, well, I mean, I, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, besides the whole like talk about the actual like impact, what I'm saying is just like talking about that sort of you know like having to go through that whatever blah blah, blah you know dealing with all that in a story but you only have two minutes to do it per episode it's just like <laughs> you know what i mean it's it's not a it, it's a very difficult task i think you know what i mean it's just like um it's like yeah so talk about your depression but keep it to like a minute 30 <laughs> you know what i mean it's like <laughs> it's like saying that and you're like i'm not i feel like i should find another therapist it's 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 that sort of feeling so so, so how, well, how is it t- is well I thought this show was a uh, supposed to be like an advertisement for the Kuma Yeah, that's what era. I thought too. I, th- I thought it was like a more like a travel kind of thing, but it just ended up becoming a very like personal coming of age like dra- dramatic kind of like story. And I was just like I guess, but again, the the idea was that it was a little bit too big for its shoes. It was it was like, yeah, you have, you know, five minutes, just tell me about all the all the psychological impacts uh, that you, you you thought for well, while you went through and stuff like that. It's like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> so that's sort of how I thought. I, I still think it's like um I still think it's like a nice watch because it's I mean it's short but it's you know um it kind of does touch upon an okay, how long is subject. This? It's so uh, each episode. No, each episode is four minutes, but the episode itself is like two minutes, two and a half, or something like that. But um, I think it's an it touches on an interesting subject, and it's okay to check out. But it's definitely a little bit. It's trying to reach in a little bit too deep for being short. I, I just don't think it has a time for it. But yeah, that's sort of all I have for not snugger. That's sort of what I would recommend again. Okay, series, but a little bit trying a little bit too hard for a, a series that only has you know two and a half minutes per episode but yeah that was my review of Natsunagu and next will be uh, next will be sorry uh, Dark hey what do you have for us today uh, so I have a series that I didn't know if I was going to watch or not in previews, I said I was like, "This seems like it could be all right," but uh, I did wind up checking it out, and I, I, I checked agree, out. By the way, I knew huh? the show was going to be dookie. I mean, I I I could see just from like the like the general trailer and like the covers that it's going to be a little bit iffy. I don't know if it would go um, full like uh, like what is it, Twin Star Exorcist? But I felt like it would not be like it might be a little bit suspected. <laughs> You know what I mean? So it has its suspect parts. However, I'm gonna preface this by saying, now that I'm fully caught up, pretty good, pretty <laughs> no, solid series actually. Except for the filler parts. Yeah. Except for except for episode two, which is actually like one of the worst things I've ever fucking watched in my entire life. Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, episode two, I can't stress this enough, is not representative of most of it, and it's very bad. Uh, you know. Um, so, Inspector. I don't remember the Japanese name. I think it's like Kyoko Suri or something. Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so, it's a show about a uh, girl with one leg and one eye. <laughs> because she was kidnapped by yokai uh, okay. as a child. And in order to essentially like become the speaker essentially for yokai and peer into the uh like realm of yokai and Mm. to be able to see them in the human world they needed to take an arm uh not an arm a leg and an eye right Mm. and the thing that the main character really uh connects that back to is uh certain like mythologies like how gods had to give up sort of an eye for knowledge. <laughs> uh, 
Which, you know, me being the fucking loser that I am, I'm like, oh, dude, Odin from World of Warcraft gave his eye up, able to peer into the Shadowland. <laughs> Realm of Death. Like, oh. Just Odin in general, actually. But, you know. Does Odin give up his eye to peer into the land of death? I thought he just gave it up for, like, knowledge in general. I mean, he gives it up for various reasons. Didn't, on, didn't like, he? Didn't he? Exchange? He like talks to like Zordon or whatever, right? The Zordon fountain, and then he gives his eye to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah the fountain of wisdom yeah. or whatever. Yeah, he but, he, but well. he also got he also got a spear that never misses, Gungnir. So, well, why does he need to look if he's got one hundred percent accuracy? <laughs> I think we're talking about ambitious, not necessarily just like. <laughs> just I'm, ta like, uh, I'm talking about Gungnir never misses. Yeah, but, yeah, but you what does it have to do with like talking dude. into the land of death, like looking into the land of death? <laughs> Don't you remember when Archer no, said, missed, "Yeah, Gabe, <laughs> Archer said Gable is stronger than the original Gungnir." Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, well, that didn't work out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was basically uh, how she like kind of coped with that and like kind of voluntarily gave that up. <laughs> Uh, and then we have our male protagonist, voiced by the one and only, me and Omamura. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, this is a much more mellow role for him, which at first I was like, wow, that's boring. Um, <laughs> but it's all right. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of nice in some ways to see him play a more, like, mellowed out character. Yeah, does it, does it kind of work for him i mean it's it be yeah because sure he's not because the character isn't the character isn't like brooding right uh okay. he's just a more mellowed out like almost like naturalish character in that sense okay um he's just a more like toned down sort so he of, can uh, he can have a little bit more like you know even if he has that sort of uh uh, uh how do you say it? the 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 pizzazz right it's, yeah, it's okay, he's, yeah, he's got a lot more, like, you know, um, mellow, like, uh, comebacks and stuff, essentially, to say to the female protagonist. Uh, more so than what you would normally get from me and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh But yeah, so his name, Kuro, the female protagonist, Kotoko. And uh, basically, the story opens with them meeting at a hospital and he recently broke up with his fiance and Kozuko uh, asks him out right. and he says you know like why would you ask me out when you've seen me here with my fiance uh, and she's like well I know you broke it off and then does this whole like deduction uh, gimmick that she comes back to pretty frequently uh, using her powers and so uh, that's kind of how it starts, uh, where she asks them out, and then they go through that. They go through a mini arc in which episode two happens, which I'll explain why it was so horrible, mm -hmm. uh, where she does more of the deduction. And the entire episode is the deduction. And I really thought this was going to be a majority of the series, if not the entire series, uh, where the entire episode is her essentially telling a giant spirit snake <laughs> lies. Um, because it, it's a whole thing. Like, they try and solve a quote-unquote mystery, and the mystery is that they found a, the police find a body in a lake. Mm -hmm. But the police find the murderer, and the murderer was like this woman. And she dumps the body in the lake and she says, like, you know, like, I really hope they find you. But then the snake was like, but why would like, why would she do that? Like, I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> and so her and the entire point is that the snake spirit is literally just mad that he doesn't understand why this happened. Uh, just... And so that was the whole episode of her essentially coming up with like a dozen different justifications for every action this woman took. Uh, and it's all telling while showing in a lot of cases, which is kind of worse than show <laughs> than like tell don't show in some sense, because it's like, you know, if you're going to show me anyway, why the fuck are you telling me while you're showing me? Mm -hmm. Um, 
But after that, they start a really interesting arc of a very specific yokai that has, um, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of interesting like pieces to it. Right. And there's a lot more of um, teamwork essentially. <laughs> so I'm gonna get to the male protagonist without spoiling much. Um, he can regenerate. And I'm not going to tell you what his other ability is, because it's very interesting, but you really only start getting into that at, like, episode six. Uh, Mm -hmm. But he can regenerate pretty much any part of his body, and he can be killed over and over again, and it doesn't matter. Like, he'll just, like, you know, reform back, like, rewind his blood Mm -hmm. back into his body, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Okay. So it starts to turn into a lot more like teamwork, you know, of her being like, you know, I got to use my deduction abilities uh, while he deals with, you know, the yokai like physically. And I have to try and essentially solve this problem with him Mm -hmm. in the least amount of times it takes for him to die. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, because he just like, like he gets his fucking head bashed in like arms ripped off, everything like that. Uh, But he just can't die. Uh, And then there's some other characters that come in that are also pretty interesting, but I don't really want to spoil a lot, because it is is quite good when it gets into it. Um, So I guess just moving on. Yeah, well, so so again, it's like a lot of this is kind of like at least like the premise, like the the sort of background building is giving me like Tokyo Ghoul vibes, like, where it's just like you know, like there's all this like creepy like whatever shit happening, but um, like where it's, I said in previews, it's that, not like creepy. the male main character's power is literally just ripped from fucking back in one of Atari. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know about the second part of his power because he has a second power. Like I said, not really gonna get into it, but they like counterbalance each other in a way, which right, is right, like kind of right. neat. Uh, but like that that part's all right i would say where the series shines is definitely its character interactions there's a lot of really good jokes between all of the cast um and they're not played up like too hard either right right um there's a decent amount of jokes that are like multiple episode spanning um it balances the drama and like the sort of like drama and comedy pretty well as well um, it's not really that dark and brooding as as much as like the character designs and the character like sort of descriptions would lead you to believe. Uh, mm-hmm. Especially like Mino Mamoru's character is not really like edgy at all. He's just kind of you know there trying to be a quote unquote right. like normal. He's person. just like a regular MC kind of person. Yeah, he's a lot more. He's just a lot more like tame than he is uh like there's a lot of sort of like joke shots of him being made fun of because he's considered a monster by the yokai because you know he's a regenerating freak who ate (laughs) other yokai (laughs) uh so it's i would say that part is much more uh not something you would expect from what the trailers showed Mm -hmm. um and the mystery parts are pretty solid too uh, one of the better parts of the show, too, is definitely the audio visuals. This is being done by a studio called Brainspace. Uh, ah, Brainspace. Not a studio that I really, um, you know, watched they, a lot. Like, do. or not, not, not so much watch a lot from, but like really dug into by like. Right, you know, right, right. I think I think it's that notable. They they do a mix and of like both on the like visual. A really big thing they did was what? Like do da 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 and that yeah. show looks like fucking dog shit at moments. So. <laughs> yeah. This show consistently looks uh pretty good, especially with the um shots when they're like, you know, cutting stuff and ripping body parts off and regenerating them. I, and I think they also kind of um because they kind of switch between doing like kind of regular anime series and more kind of commi- committing to let's say like kids shows and stuff like that like yeah. um 
dual masters, whatever, so on and so forth. So I think they sometimes, you know what I mean? <laughs> they can cut, start cutting corners from time to time. Yeah. I haven't seen, I haven't really seen that uh, in this show so far. Like, even the CG has been blended pretty well, though there hasn't been a lot of CG. Uh, mm-hmm. It's been, like, the typical parts of, like, cars, and that's been blended pretty pretty nicely. And a giant skeleton guy, too. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. Um, but so far, like, I think the yokai designs uh, for some of them are kind of neat uh, the way they are, because they're very much like yokai designs of these weird looking, you know, old dude's head on a fucking snake's body and stuff like that. Uh, but it's, uh, I would say it's definitely worth checking out. It's audio visuals, again, are very solid uh, to having some pretty pretty good fights so far there's only been like a couple but you know there's uh there's a lot of cool smooth animations where the main character uh you know mamaru's character is getting like you know skin ripped off and breaking necks and shit uh how, how gory uh, is it's very so gory uh, okay it's, uh, it's very gory <laughs> yeah it's well actually it's hard to say, right? Um, it's more bloody than it is gory in a lot of scenes, uh, oh. though. Oh, okay. There's a lot of. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's like blood sea gory. Yeah. It's probably a bit more than that because there is a part where he gets his ear ripped off, and like they just fully show that. Like it's not censored at all. That's another thing too. This isn't censored at all in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so you get to see like everything. Like he gets his arm ripped off, and he grows it back like from the bone to the muscle, uh, in like layers, and you get to see that. And it does. It was animated really nicely. Okay. Uh, so that was pretty cool. I would say that's like kind of another part of it that's kind of neat. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of about it. The show itself kind of really shines more in its character interactions than anything else. The one weird thing was that there is a two-year skip uh, after episode what? two. Oh, okay. Yeah. After episode two, there's a two-year time jump. Uh, just to kind of, I guess, move past me and Omaru's character <laughs> starting to date the female protagonist and like them just getting involved in yokai shit. Okay. So they skip two years to like their first quote unquote major like case. Um and that it it's strange because the anime makes you, you know, think with a joke that they're already in a full like relationship and their relationship's changed at all, but it really hasn't. Where mm-hmm. me and Omamura is just kind of reluctantly with her. Um but as far as them, like, you know, you using, like, each other's powers to their advantages and everything is uh, definitely more probably why they went that route. Yeah. Um, that's not something that, you know, isn't present in the manga as well, because I went through the first couple of chapters of the manga just to see, and it is, like, pretty much the same, though they cut some conversations. Yeah. Uh, which kind of sucks, but yeah, but I mean, yeah, we can kind of do at some points. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, I would say if you're looking for a mystery series, this is probably not (laughs) what you want, right? Because it's not really that mysterious. It's more of I like the series because it's especially right now they're coming up with a way to deal with the yokai in a very roundabout manner and Uh, essentially like trying to plot out how they're going to win perfectly before they do it and then they enact it Um, Uh, how to deal with like setbacks Uh, because you know like to not give away too much the yokai they're dealing with now is being given form by belief itself like it's too many people believe in it so it's starting like it manifested and now they're trying to figure out the perfect way to make people believe that the yokai actually is a person to, like, get rid of the yokai, right? 
because they don't think that it's a ghost running around and they know it's like, oh, here's like, you know, the Scooby-Doo villain that's been running around uh, killing people. Uh, okay. Then the actual ghost will go away. So that, you know how you do that? It's called uh, it's called the Internet. Yeah, it involves a lot of that. Yeah, actually. Uh, yeah. Just, so well, what, what's that website? SCP. Too, right? Yeah, make make it like make an SCP wiki of it and be like, hey, this a, thing's a creepy pasta. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty. That's actually what they have now that they're dealing with. It was literally a wiki that wound up making this thing. Okay. So they're like, you know, how do we do that? So yeah. they're trying to come up with like the perfect plan, essentially deal with that yokai before uh too many people get killed okay okay uh because Just... the more people that get killed by it the harder it is to convince people it's a human being doing this <laughs> especially when it's not <laughs> and they're that's another thing that comes up if they're like well isn't that like we're just lying to people that like that's actually not even the truth i'm like yeah that makes our job even harder yeah <laughs> so it's you, oh. you said this was a mystery, right? Not, not really. It's not that mysterious. It's more of a, uh, I don't know. What would you call that, Spire? Um, because they're not psychological not lot... horror. I, it's basically I... just a problem-solving anime. Yeah, as, as, I said, as I said, no, no. It, what, what I call what I call it is, it's not a mystery series. It's a detective series. Yeah, it's because there's it's initially a little yeah. bit of a mystery, but they usually resolve, like they usually and, figure out what's going on in an episode, and, and the audience they, doesn't really get to have much like, oh, maybe that's blah blah. It's it's just like they come in and like, okay, we're gonna solve this kind of thing. Yeah, it, the the audience is like, you know, we know the problem, we know what's going on here, but like, how are they actually gonna solve it? Yeah, everything in between is like. <laughs> So that's like that's kind of what you're trying to get at. So so is this is this show stronger than the, the Goldfish show? Was that this season? What Goldfish? Oh. Pet? pet? I did not watch Pet. Near is oh, this wow. stronger than Pet? Probably. I mean, I don't personally I like from it. everything I've seen from the show, I'm not very impressed. I don't think it like I don't think it looks very engaging. Honestly, I think it looks very like just kind of like. Uh, sort of generic like here's here's a problem that a monster is solving we're going to solve it and to me like the characters don't exactly look like, unique enough or engaging enough for me to like separate this from any other random like shonen series or something um but regardless like pet is dog shit trash so yeah i'm <laughs> sure this show is much better than that. so so okay so the monsters, right? Is this more like a Monsters Inc. one or a Monsters Inc. two? <laughs> I don't know Do we what know? that means. It, this yeah, is, okay. this is more of this is more of a yokai. Okay, so is it more <laughs> like <laughs> they are yokai? Yeah. So is it it's, more it's like, like saying uh, it's like more like yokai watch? It's like what are we talking about here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more, I was gonna say more like yokai watch or more like uh, <laughs> that that to- that toilet very... show. Neither. I haven't <laughs> seen I haven't seen that one yet, but it's pro. If I oh, had wait, wait, to no, guess, no, no, no. it's probably more like uh, Hanukkah, just because. Okay. Okay. Is it more like, like it's, Hanukkah? It's, cla- it's it's very traditional yokai. Or like is it a more quote like unquote a... mermaid is like a horrifying, half fish, half human, like oni looking creature. It's so, not okay. a. Okay, okay, so <laughs> it's it's not a cartoony one. Though there are some cartoony yokai too. So yeah. so it's I like mean, a some goofy yokai in actual fucking Hell Teacher Nuve. That's I also gotcha. true, yeah. yeah it, so it's like Hell Teacher Nuve? No, wait, there's do you know a big what that is? Skeleton guy too. He's pretty cool. Anyways, no, uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, any oh. last words? Dark yeah, that's a boom. Um anime. if you're looking for a series that has like slight romance elements to it. Because there's not, there hasn't been that much romance, uh, other than like, you know, the female protagonist being thirsty as fuck and making comments. Uh, okay. How old is she? Nineteen, I think. Okay. After the okay. two-year skip, you're in the clear then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just keep going. But um, I would say if you're looking for something with fun, 
like more fun character interactions and dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where this show mostly shines. Um, everything else is kind of a you know a bonus. Um, the first episode is all right. The second episode is horrible. Uh, the third episode is where the current <sighs> quote unquote arc picks up. Except the quote unquote arc has been from episode three all the way up to now nine. Um, so that's <laughs> been more fun, and it's like it's not a um, it's not a more episodic series. This is uh, not really episodic. This so this is, is a much like more a, it's long... like a solo like build up, solo build up. Yeah, the first like like I said, the first two episodes before the time skip were like kind of episodic in that sense. But now that they did, you know, the time skip into it, it's just been more of uh, this one yokai and the character interactions that get filtered through. Okay, 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 okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh... Not a bad showing for Crunchyroll's first original. <sighs> Says, <laughs> much as I didn't want to say that, but... Yeah, but like... I mean, have we talked about like the Crunchyroll original thing on the podcast yet? Not yet, I was gonna... <laughs> that was I gonna mean... be late. Like, let's be honest. Crunchyroll they're not originals. Isn't, they're, they're Crunchyroll fucking... isn't producing these shows. Like, they're not. They're not putting money into these shows. They're literally buying exclusive streaming rights and saying it's a Crunchyroll original. Mm-hmm. It's like they're how just, Netflix bought. At, at most, they might be like fronting money. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like how Netflix that, like buys the streaming rights to Violet Evergarden. And says it's a it's Netflix, a Netflix original. original, bro. Which is fucking not. Like, they had Which absolutely is, zero hand in any of the production. It's super strange that Crunchyroll only decided to start doing this now. And the only true originals are, like, High Guardian Spice. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, and, like, the other, like, the And two Onyx, old... right? Is that and the like one, one that or, looks one like... One or two on, on like, that are, or, yeah, like, I Western mean, they might whatever. be helping with the production of, um... What the fuck was that like? The high school battle one, the God of High School? No, that's yeah, Chinese. God that's of Chinese. High School. Yeah, I, but I mean, they might be like friending money or something. Oh uh, yeah, like well, yeah. I don't know. They might. They might. Well, have the other. A... Regardless, not, the term not to get too into roll. Crunchyroll originals yet. <laughs> yeah, a the lot of these series like... were gonna be made regardless. Yeah, it's super <laughs> hollow. Like it doesn't mean... very like, original. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, you know I what can't was believe the top original? one Korean web novel got made into a series. Wow, that's really cr- so brave of Crunchyroll to do that. Crunchyroll manga original. Wait, 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 <laughs> which one are you talking about? The ga- the gamer? No, it's no. Like, there's a uh, Tower, Tower of God. God. Oh yeah, yeah. Or yeah, whatever. God. That's like the f- that was wasn't that like one of the fucking like number one, one of Korean web novels? Famous, yeah. Like, I, where's, wow, where's, I can't believe that that got a series. Where's solo leveling? Country. Where's the gamer? Where's Peerless I'm, Dad? I'm sure we're gonna be getting those, whether they're from Crunchyroll or not. If they were popular, you know what's they a like... Netflix original? Fate uh, Extra Last Encore. You know how I could tell? Because the subtitles and, and the English dub is really whack. <laughs> Crunchyroll only bring the best of localization. Anyways, uh, thank you, Dark, for helping to cover Inspector. I know it was uh, also one of the bigger names that we uh, did want to cover. So thank you for you know uh, helping review it here. Oh, I get and it. Like- Inspector, like yokai. I guess. I guess. Yes. Yeah. In, like inspe- an inspector, even though they're not really inspecting oh, a whole lot. I get it. Inspector <laughs> gadget. In, inspector like like inspector oh, and inspector, inspector like inside of the uh, inside your mind, yokai. I I get you. I get you. <laughs> Thank you, Toast. Anyways, with that with that level of brilliant analyses uh, done, last but not least, near. Yeah, near. What you got? <sighs> um. I watched uh, Runway de Warate, yeah. uh, also known as Smile Down the Runway. Yes, I need to watch um, this. Fuck, man. Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, do, do you? Um, I so, think... <laughs> so, so, is it like Zooland- Zoolander? <laughs> so, <laughs> Runway de Warate, um, you would assume, is a story about, you know, Models, right? Like models walking down the runway. But why male models? 
being sure. a top model, right? That's yes. what you think, right? From yes. you know, the promotion sure. and yeah, yeah. the story synopsis and, you know, the main character being a model, right, yes. on the cover. Uh, yes. That's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. What? Um, it's just between show, the two. It's just mainly this show two, is I'm about guessing, right? uh, making clothes, fashion. Um, oh. well, the girl, be, be the girl that's on the cover is not the main character. Uh, it's the main it's, the guy, right? It's the guy. Yes. Um, the girl, the, like the female lead, um, literally disappears for like three episodes in this series. <laughs> and she's not even seen. Um, but anyway, uh, with that out of the way, uh, Runway Duarte starts off with uh, the female lead as a child. Uh, she aspires to be um, a model. Um, and, you know, everyone around her is like, oh, you got to be, you know, like 175 centimeters tall to be a model, right? Um, and it turns out when she grows up, she's 158 centimeters tall. Uh, so she's super short. She's not tall enough to be a model. Um, and everyone around her is uh, telling her, you know, it's impossible, it's impossible. Uh, her dad, who owns uh, a quote-unquote modeling company, which also apparently... Uh, makes clothing at the same time. Um, I'm pretty sure modeling companies don't do that. But uh, her dad fires her for being a model because she's too short. Um, what? Yeah. Um, and, you know, the story at the start, you know, it's basically like... Um, like, the main message is, like, I guess... Uh, confronting like the the concept of like not being able to achieve your dreams due to circumstance right mm -hmm. um which is a pretty interesting theme right uh reminds me uh, of something that's a little similar like just you know like uh like the concept of just failure right with um sakura so right mm -hmm. um so you know uh the the initial episode of this I was pretty pretty interested, right? Because it has an interesting theme. Um, it tackles it with a bit of melodrama, um, which I was uh, kind of hoping didn't continue. Um, but you know, I was I was pretty sold on the first episode. Yeah. Um, and then it keeps going, and then uh, suddenly it's not about the female lead uh, and her ambition to be a model. It's literally all about the the male main character and his ambition to be a fashion like designer. That's um, weird. It's a very the balance is very well. I mean, yeah, it's the balance is really, off. The balance not, is off. It's not really balanced. Like it, the the perspective entirely shifts. Right. Like it starts off from the perspective of the female lead, and then it completely transitions later on to the male lead. Um. To the point where it completely forgets the female lead, like even exists for multiple episodes, um, and unfortunately, it kind of like drops the the concept of like you know confronting like the 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 feeling of like impossibility of like fulfilling your dreams due to like circumstances out of your control. Mm -hmm. Like you know, the the female lead's initial setup is good, right? Like. She has a dream, and everyone around her is saying she can't achieve it because she's too like short, right? But she doesn't give up because like it's what she wants, right? It's a, like it's a decent concept, right? <laughs> um, but the the mailman character like they try to set up like a parallel thing where he wants to be a fashion designer, but like he's fucking dirt poor, right? Yeah. And he can't go to college, um, and his like his like outlook on life is sort of like he would rather give up his dream to support his family and that like, they can do what they want instead. Um, but then it immediately throws that out the window because like the story is like the female lead wants to be a model. And so she discovers that the male lead makes clothing. So she goes, make me. Yeah. But, but the... <laughs> that'll make me look good. Right. 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 And he does it, and then uh, you know she gets uh, her picture taken, and the, the outfit gets ends up showing up in a fashion magazine, right? And so 
like this the the girl's dad who owns this fashion company um like he basically hooks uh the mailman character up with another fashion designer who's trying to like make his own brand right um so immediately within like two three episodes the the male main character has basically already had his ambition come true right like he's he's working as a fashion designer like he's making clothes for models to be put on display and then the story and theme kind of immediately goes away from like uh you know overcoming the impossibility of fulfilling your dream into just a very generic like talent versus determination shit that we've seen a million times over right, in right. a million other series it's like and a- Anti Sakurasa at that yeah. point. It's really unfortunate. Right? <laughs> it's like, oh, like, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, it's like if I would be really interested. Right? Goodbye. It's oh. like if that fucking game design part, it just yeah, immediately it's like, switched it's like if he, perspectives if he, to what's her name and we just get rid of the male protagonist. I mean, it's like if. New game, like if, new game but Alba gets like fired in like the first episode. <laughs> it's like if the main character. um, You know, he initially starts off with like this feeling. Of like you know insecurity and like uh you know like he can't compare to these other people and then like two episodes later he's like a fucking ceo right (laughs) and it's like well what's the theme anymore i don't know (laughs) um but yeah so the series basically transitions to this like uh talent versus determination thing but the problem is the main character is already super fucking talented so the obstacles that it throws against him is basically like his boss is mean to him. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, why? Um, because he's kind of a rude person, but he actually cares deep down. And then it's like, okay, well, we got the boss, uh, like, speed bump over with. Uh, what's the next thing that can, quote unquote, challenge or fucking prodigy of a ma- main character? Uh, I don't know. Let's have him enter um, a fashion like uh, contest with other people that are in like a prestigious school. Oh, uh, he's a fucking prodigy anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like, there's no real confrontation in this series like that is presented to the main character that matters. Like the only conflict that is being presented to characters in this series that like seems relevant or um it's consistent you know, like, relatable or you know just like real um right. or side characters right like the the main character's sister um she wants to go to college right like she wants to uh eventually you know study abroad or some shit but the, again they're dirt fucking poor Right. So uh, there's a scene in like episode four or something, right, where like everything's been going good for the main character. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, he's working as a like a fashion. He's working with this like big name fashion designer. He's making clothes. He's doing what he likes. You know, he's happy. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, his only worry earlier was like, am I getting paid for this? And then like, you know, two minutes later, he gets paid fucking fat stacks. Right. Right. Um, so he comes home, uh, and his sister was worried about him because he was like out, like working uh, all night. Right. And so she fucking yells at him, and he's like, uh, "Sorry, I guess. Uh, here's this money, so like to help you go to college." And she freaks out, right? Because she's like, "I'm sick of people like trying to help me out by." like sacrificing themselves right because she thinks that he's working some shitty part-time job to help her get to college right right right. and you know there's this emotional scene where she's like no i'm sick of trying to rely on people or having people like look down on me and think like i i need money when i i want to support myself right Mm -hmm. and you know that's a very like relatable feeling a very relatable thing to go through um but then the main character is immediately like, don't worry, I'm not working some shitty part-time job. I'm literally fulfilling my dreams. You were wrong this entire time. And she's like, oh, 
and it's like, well, what? What is like <laughs> problem solved, dude? Like, yeah, oh my God, <laughs> let, let me see like, them. Like, stack. There's, there's literally like the conflict is resolved as soon as it was even brought up. Like, uh, there's no, there's no conflict for this main yeah, character that, at all. Like the. I don't know. It, For me, that it's... seems more like an oversight of like, you know, realize it, like getting that far in the story and realizing, wait, we haven't introduced any reason for this character to like keep this hidden from his family. <laughs> right, right. I and mean, it feels like... like also there's just not, how do I say this? It's like there's a line of like, this person is continuing to do his career stuff. But beyond that, there's not really anything else. You know what I mean? Because it's like, the idea is that he he is motivated to do some, you know, various sets of actions. And then through that, he meets the other characters, right? And with these other characters, he does more stuff. Maybe it's not something along the lines of his career. Maybe it's, you know, maybe helping those friends out or doing whatever, right? Going into something else, right? And these variations occur because of those acquaintances that he meets. But it seems like once the acquaintances are met, the writers, the storyline is not doing well to kind of do stuff with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I they're mean, just like, the acquaintances are here and then they kind of like, kind of float off afterwards. You know what I mean? <laughs> the problem too is it falls into like, um, like sports like a sports series trope or something right like where um like the arc that i'm up to right now i only watched like six episodes of this because i was like you know i don't think this is really gonna go very far um but the the arc i'm in right now is there's this student that he met from this you know super prestigious school um who's named like kokoro or something and she she is a model Right? Like she was working as a model, she signed as a model. And she's apparently a really fucking good one, right? Like she's got a perfect figure. Right, right, right. Um But her problem is like she like being a model makes her super nervous. Like she's super scared to get up on stage and walk down the runway. Um but uh in working as a model, she found out like she wants to be a designer. Right, so she's going to like fashion design school, um, and you know I found that like that's an interesting character like motivation, right? Like you're working as one thing, but then as you work with this other thing, you find out you want to be something else. Um, the problem is her conflict is that like uh, her modeling agency uh, doesn't want her to be a fashion designer because she's their top model, right? Like right. she's their best model. Um, and the way they present this is by having her agent like fucking ambush her at school, like physically assault her and say, you need to quit school or else. And it's like, why is there a fucking comic book villain in this series all of a sudden? Like, is this fucking like Idolmaster Cinderella Girls where this woman yeah. is trying to fucking tank her own company? Like, <laughs> like it's actual villain tier shit. And so the main character is like, hmm, how about we uh, instead of do not know, retarded stuff <laughs> how about how about instead of uh you know like talking this out with your agency uh we just enter this like fashion design contest and then you can like prove that you're you can also be a fashion designer and just like hmm, that is a good idea nice. uh, the problem is tournament arc the problem is when they enter this contest she's nowhere to be seen like the main character is doing all of the design mm -hmm. so again like you you introduce this like side characters dilemma like this issue and then you have this like prodigy super talented like no experience like superman fashion designer who can just like brainstorm and come up with these uh, super dresses that just solve all the issues uh, uh, swoop in and like uh, he just saves the day, right? Yeah. Uh, I just yeah, it's, it, it, it's it, so it, bizarre, especially with the 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 backdrop of like making clothes, 
right? Like the mm-hmm. the the concept should. Be, I will save. I will save this fashion show. Yeah, like the con the concept should be like super like grounded, like just a very like a little bit gradual, thing, right? gradual, gradual. Yeah, like the the issues presented should be very, you know, human issues, right? Mm-hmm. Like you know, right, right, right. like you know, feeling like insecure or you know, feeling like the pressure of being a model, mm-hmm. you know, stuff that like. Uh, other you know sports series have done like yeah, just yeah. A, you know Yuri on Ice or something right, right. Um, and uh, that's not the case like this is a super melodramatic series <laughs> where people are having like extreme outbursts of emotion over making clothes like it's so bizarre to it's see. like it's like um it's like Shokugeki no Soma or something like that it's like it's I mean, it's, it's like, almost like um. You know, like, like like a like a your lie in April, right? Oh um, yes, yes, yes. Where or like or like Chihaya Furu maybe, where it's like yeah. I mean, Chihaya Furu is still good, but it's just like a lot of yeah, times. Like, like you have, you have these, yeah, you have these very like you know, like a very a very, I guess grounded, uh, backdrop like concept, you know, right. setting whatever. Saki, um, Saki. <laughs> yeah, but then you have these characters that are like. Oh, my my heart is throbbing with the emotions of making clothes. And <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You know, like you know, with, with a series like Your Lie in April, mm-hmm. you can forgive it because you know music is a very emotional, uh, just force, right? Mm-hmm. You know, with series like Chihaya Furu, like it's well written, right, right, right. Um, but with this, it's like. Bro, you're 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 making clothes. There's just like a lot of stuff that's just like wrong with it, and it's kind of all coming together, right? It's like the yeah. writing and the fact that it's like uh, the dramatization and the fact that all the characters are not jiving well, and the fact that there's like not very good balance between the main character and literally everybody else. Yeah, and the problem is the the female main character, the female lead, like her. She seems scenes, interesting. Like her her scenes and her her issues, like. Mm-hmm. They're good. They're, yeah, like, they they're, seem they're well done. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she has an interesting dynamic. She has an interesting issue. Yeah. Um, but they just don't use her. <laughs> like, uh, like this 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 whole anime is just about this like male main character, and like none of his issues are very relevant outside of like money issues, yeah. right? Um, everybody else around him is like more relatable. Um, even like the the rival character they they introduce, which is supposed to be like, you know, typically in a series like this, when you introduce a rival, like he's the talented one, right? Like the rival is the super talented one, um, and you know he didn't have to work super hard for you know where he's at. But in this series, it's literally the opposite. Like the rival character is acting super cocky, and you know he's trying to like you know uh, gauge uh, you know how how a good of an eye the main character has for fashion and you know like manipulating fabric and stuff um and like in like their first meeting the main character is like holy shit like this guy has an eye for fashion that i've had to work for for like 10 years what the fuck is going on and is i'm just sitting here like isn't this dynamic usually the reverse like it's so weird just seeing a series that's like yeah I'm super talented, and I can basically just like uh, scream my way through any sort of emotional issue. <laughs> and um, life is good, right? It's super bizarre. Um, it's very unfortunate because I think, like, again, I say this with a lot of series, like Japanese anime, but it's like or manga, but it's like I think the premise and the initial setup was just like quite good, but it just. Yeah, I mean, kind the, of initial setup, the initial <laughs> setup is very good. And then the series is like, yeah, but what if we weren't, oh, what if that wasn't the story? <laughs> like, huh? What if um, not? <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Um, other than that, uh, audiovisuals, um, I mean, it looks fine. Yeah. Uh, this is done by Studio Izola. Uh, they've done this, Sonan Deska, and Happy Sugar Life. Oh, okay. So they have they 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 keep making these interesting series, but it's like a lot of them seem to be like you know Happy Sugar Life and uh, this stuff like that. It's like 
again, it's like, that's sort of the risk, I guess, right? It's like you adapt these series that have these very interesting premises and stuff like that, but then they could kind of end up in weird places. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it looks okay. It's not super impressive. It's not like offensive or anything. Um, the color palette is very, very bright. Mm -hmm. Um, they have like these, uh, I guess, shoujo esque scenes where you know the background lights up and there's sparkles and stuff, but it's really bright, mm -hmm. um, like way brighter than most shoujo series. Um, uh, minor gripe, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, the soundtrack's pretty decent. Um, you know, there's some tracks that have been like, hey, that's pretty good, but a lot of it's kind of just background noise. Yeah. Um, overall, I'd say. Uh, disappointing. Um, yeah. You know, if the, I guess if the concept like is interesting to somebody, uh, I'd probably try the manga. Maybe the balance is a bit better in that. I don't know. Or maybe the pacing is a little bit more tolerable. The yeah. Rest of what it actually does. Um, but I, I, I probably wouldn't recommend this anime adaptation. Um. You, you know what I would recommend, though? In its place? The, the opposite spectrum of this show. What's, what's it called? Otona no Bogia-san. That's what. Mm. That's the show That's the show with the, the dude who works at the armor shop and he makes sexy clothing for, for the ladies. Oh I, would, I would actually, instead of... Because cause, like, all throughout when you were talking about um, the series... Like like describing the series rather, I was just thinking of um. Zoolander uh, two. Have you seen? No, have you seen? Have you near? Have you read the whole uh, the Be the Bisque doll uh, manga? Sono Bisque doll no, something uh, something. Yeah, this... I have it. I have a bookmark, but I haven't read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of remind me of that to be honest. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, um... yeah, I don't know the um the initial theme oh, that's that presented one. in this series. Like it's good. Um. But it doesn't follow through with that. It completely abandons that. Um, so uh, I just I don't know. It's disappointing. Um, it's about all I can say. Yeah, again, very unfortunate. I was kind of looking forward to it too, but yeah, I mean, this I, the problem. <sighs> I think I was I was pretty I had pretty high hopes for the series going in. Mm -hmm. I think the issue I'm going to have with this series. Um, in the future, is I guarantee you this series is going to pop up in like lists and stuff down the road. It's and so people, unique. Yeah, people are going to say this is like a hidden gem. It's super <laughs> unique. You know, it deals. You know, it presents like you know these issues. The life in, of the fashion super, designer. Yeah. yeah, in like a super unique way. You know, <laughs> like people are going to talk about this series like they talked about Yuri and Ice. Like I guarantee it. You know, the series isn't going to be as popular. Is that um but like the 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 way people like describe this series is going to be extremely reminiscent of what people were saying right. about yuri on ice um, yeah oh uh, no for sure and i'm going to yeah. say majority of it is extremely untrue um yeah. you know there's there's a few hidden gem moments in this series but a lot of it is bogged down just solely by the main character yeah, kind of like the general mechanics of how the story is, is yeah. progressed. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. But uh, thank you so much, Nier, for taking the time to uh, watch this and help review it. Again, another sort of big name series. I know, again, as you talked about, as you, or as you said just now, people are going to definitely go through this and are like trying to you know, dig it out of their attic and be like, wow, mommy, look at this unique anime series. So yeah. good thing we covered it early. Um, you yeah. know, you know what? Sounds like Oda Nobunaga's Cinnamon Dog is the best show of this episode. This episode? <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure about that. But uh, Don't, didn't you and, all hate your your series? Oh, I didn't hate my series. I was just like, uh, uh, it, it, so, it sounds like I Cinnamon barely Dog. had much criticism for. <laughs> Anyway, sounds uh, uh, that that sounds like Cinnamon Dog wins overall. Two, <laughs> two out of two, two out of two, four, is good enough. Okay. Dark, where the Andy. winners here. All right, Toast. Can I move on? No. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, moving on to the news. 
uh, just a little bit of news today. I don't think there's too much you know, updates and stuff like that. Again, a lot of things have been slowed down by the coronavirus. So not going to get too much. Tell, so. tell us about the coronavirus. <laughs> uh, not too much to say. But uh, anyways, first piece of news. Shippan Koho Center announced on Thursday that Japanese publishers Kadokawa, Kodansha, Shueisha, and Shukakukan reached a settlement with American web security company Cloudflare in June 2019. Oh, about that. Cloudflare about that. agreed to stop caching contact on its Japanese servers from specified piracy sites if the Tokyo District Court deems that the sites are infringing on copyrights. So just kind of like doing it. And again, a lot of complaints about the publishers kind of just lashing out and doing whatever they can to quote unquote stop piracy. But we all know it's not. Well, it's not gonna work (laughs) Um, so that's that Uh, a little bit on the awards front and then we're gonna go straight into people news first the science fiction and fantasy writers of Japan or SFWJ announced on Monday that it has posthumously awarded late science fiction authors Hideo Azuma and Taku Mayumura with the Meritorious Service Award in its 40th Nihon SF Taisho Awards Azuma passed away on October 13th last year, and Mayumura passed away on November 3rd. So uh, please, uh, I guess, congratulate them, their family, etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera. Uh, a lot of sort of different, you know, just descriptions about you know, their kind of works. Um, they stuff do like Olymp- they drew a lot of like manga, science fiction uh, centered manga, like Olympus no Poron and Nanako SOS and stuff like that. Um, I believe my would also received uh, an award beforehand, but uh, yeah, 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 um, stuff like disappearance diary, so on, so. But yeah, uh, please congratulate their families, the records, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the uh, pretty big one. Oh, baby. The Asahi Shimbun paper announced the eight nominees for the twenty third or twenty fourth, right? Twenty fourth annual Tesco Osamu Cultural Prize on Friday. The awards commemorate the contributions of the manga pirate Osama Tesca by recognizing the manga that best follow his tradition. And the nominees are as follows. Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Shocker. Kodama Maria Bungaku Shuse. Ona at the Emplacement, or Juza no Ona. Spy Family, again a very big one that's been coming up recently. Uh, Nyx no Lantern. Uh, the Blue Period. Sarisa of Noctilucent Cloud, or Yako Kumo no Sarisa. And A Brief History of Robo Sapiens, or Robo Sapiens no Zenshi. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. So, but, like, yeah, iRobot with a Will Smith? No, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that's how. But yeah, Asahi Shimbun will announce the winners in late April and will host an award ceremony in Tokyo on June 4th. So, uh, sure, please check this out. Who read Spy Family? <sighs> Fuck, I really should. God damn it. <laughs> You're right. And I'll why, just go back why, into why don't you just uh, Summer watch Pockets. The movie? <laughs> With, yes, uh, Mikey. Yes, Mikey. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I, I, was th- I was thinking of Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Smith. Was, was that the one with Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I you're talking no about. Idea. What? It's the one where they, they were trying to kill each other because they were both spies of, like, the of opposite faction. Do, do, do you guys not watch American movies? <laughs> near, near uh, you're Canadian, I, so I, I got you there. But like, near what Canadian uh, movies do you watch? What the fuck, Canadian? Uh, I don't think near specifically watches movies for being Canadian. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. Like the last Canadian movie I watched. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's move on. I just have a couple of people news. Um, first off, uh, kind of big hit here. Voice actor Junichi Goto was riding on a motorcycle when it collided with the left side wall of the Shuto Expressway's Haneda route in Tokyo's Ota Ward at about 9 a.m. on Monday, February 24th. He was rushed unconscious to hospital but was pronounced dead due to head injuries at the age of 40. The Tokyo Metropolitan Police's Expressway Patrol is investigating the cause of the incident. Um, please wish condolences to his friends and family. So again, his uh, most prominent role in anime was title character for uh, Trigger's Inferno Cop anime. He did stuff with uh, Ninja Slayer as a script, uh, Redman, uh, Detective Conan, and 
other roles. Next. Uh, the official site for the 22 over 7 or Nanabu no Nijini idol oh project boy. announced on Monday that group member Misa Kuraoka is going on hiatus due to health problems. The project staff will make an announcement when Kuraoka is able to return to work. She plays Miyako Kono in the project's anime. I'm, yeah, so a lot of a lot of weird like health issues and weaknesses and kind of you know I guess general like work scheduling kind of problems in this idol group. Not not the best of news. But again, please wish her a speedy recovery. Final piece of person news. The talent agency 81 Produce announced on Thursday that voice actress Yoshino Aoyama is going on a temporary hiatus and restricting her work due to her poor health. As a result, she has to take a hiatus or decline to take a part in an unspecified number of jobs. 81 Produce said that Aoyama is already recovering and wishes to return to work, but decided to focus on recuperation to ensure her long-term voice acting career. So please wish her a uh, speedier recovery, and again, she can, hopefully she can hit the ground running again. She did stuff such as uh, Yushino Nanase in Wake Up Girls, Goody in Love Tyrant, and uh, Kuroe Mashima in Seton Academy. Welcome to the pack. And uh, as well as Izumi Chiba in Natsunaga. Yeah, please wish her a speedier recovery. A couple of things, obviously, closing to coronavirus. I'll just read them uh, like very fast, like just bare minimum. Uh, Kojima Productions canceling GDC attendance. Uh, Yukari Tamura uh, had an event, like a concert and stuff like that, where they were like, you know how like idols have like those calls where it's like they say one thing and then like the crowd responds. Yeah, <laughs> they forbid the audience to do that call, and then later on they just cancel the event altogether. So that was yeah. a thing. Um, certain scientific rail guarantee was delayed due to um, coronavirus concerns, and obviously there's a lot of other delays in manga, anime, so on and so forth, right? Anime Japan 2020 event canceled due to coronavirus concerns. Bandai Namco, uh, Love Live events canceled due to coronavirus. Some Sei Awards, you know, Aikatsu events and stuff like that canceled. And um, uh, GDC Game Developers Conference event, which is a pretty big uh, event uh, in the West, was postponed until the summer. So very unfortunate, but better to be safe than sorry. And yeah, with that, we are down to our shoutouts and callouts. So for those of you who are not familiar with this, our shoutouts... Uh, everybody gets one shout out, one call out each. The shout out is one thing that you want to praise to the heavens, talk up, you know, jump in joy about whatever, and can be any person, place, or thing. And the call out is, of course, the exact opposite. It's something that you want to rage over, you are irate, you resent even the mere thought of it. And it can be any one person, place, or thing. And we will start with near. Wow. Um. I think I'll start out with my call out. Um, huh. Kind of a big one. Um, you know, this coronavirus stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to call out uh, specifically the way the media has been covering this coronavirus shit. Okay. Um, I, I really don't like it. Uh, like, I understand that, you know, when a fucking new virus breaks out, like, that's, you know, putting headlines like, oh, man, man in New York is infected with the coronavirus. Gets yeah. a lot of fucking clicks. But, like, can we not, like, just fill people with fucking absolute fear so they're fucking... Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not it's a whole It's gonna lot. melt your fucking face <laughs> off. I don't yeah. think you really... Like, people die. percent mortality rate. <laughs> yeah, like, I... If you ask somebody on the street, like how fatal is coronavirus uh, most people would probably say it's like a fucking like 50 percent fatality rate like people have no fucking yeah clue. See, i feel like they'd say even higher but like, yeah like people it's... people i like some of the people like some of the older people that i know um they generally think it's like a fucking death sentence right <laughs> like the thing it, is it's know, like definitely Older see, people have a worse time of it, but it's definitely yeah. Not. It's one of but those I mean, things where older, it's like older would people the have flu a worse time you? with the flu. Yeah, exactly. That's the big thing. The coronavirus, this new coronavirus, COVID nineteen, is the flu. It's a new flu, right? 
you know, sure, it's taken more lives than the flu, but that's because well, no it hasn't. Um, there's it's... also it's also affecting countries that basically don't have fucking hospitals. Like if you look at the mortality rate uh, compared to like countries like you know Canada uh, mm-hmm. compared to Pakistan, uh, there's a bit of a difference, right? Um, and you know when I see uh, you know news articles and shit, uh, you know uh, the news on TV, the news I hear on the radio, um, and they're basically like full on panic mode. You know they're covering stories about how like Costco's are being fucking completely sold out because people are just so scared and they're stocking up. And it's like the only thing that publishing these stories is going to do is make it worse. Right? <laughs> like none of the big name news outlets are out here being like, okay guys, don't like panic. Like the mortality rate is extremely low. Um, you know, the odds of being infected in a Western country are also pretty low and even if you are infected like basic um stuff that you would do if you had the flu is going to be just as good like it's not that dangerous right um but you know no media is covering like the actual risks of coronavirus which is few yeah um, i think everyone I, I... out everyone out here is being like if you see someone who's sick or if you are sick, isolate yourself. Shoot them on sight. Yeah. Like, can we, like, it's do, like we really, do you like really need to use people. the vocabulary or vocabulary, like isolate? Like, yeah. you don't need to lock yourself in a fucking windowless room in order to protect the safety of your family. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wash your hands. Don't inhale people's saliva. Like, <laughs> it's basic hygiene. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I'm going out and buying a gun, though. <laughs> it's like someone coughs at you and immediately try to like, you just shove the gun in your mouth. Like, no, <laughs> you draw, it's over. I can't you be a draw zombie. On them immediately. <laughs> yeah, like I just it pisses me off. You know, like yeah, it's like, it was like this when fucking Ebola was around too, right? Like Ebola pops up in Africa. Yeah, and then the media is like, "Is this the end of the human race?" Yeah. Guys, calm down. Yeah. Especially since Ebola has been a thing in like Africa for many, many yeah, years. It's for just a while. The, the only danger was like whether one of those people would come over and, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But, and guess what? Now they're here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, it's very unfortunate that it's like a lot of stuff. It's just, I don't know. It, it's, what's unfortunate that it's like, it's red is like, you know how it's like, have you guys played that like flash game like the pandemic game where it's like play um, game or whatever yeah, yeah yeah where it's like you can like add skill points to your virus or whatever and you can either affect like a lot of the skills either affect how it how fast it spreads or like what it does essentially right yeah you know and what's it's funny like, that game recently got banned in china <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good but um what was it like the fact that it's like spreading so fast and it is pretty contagious is, I think, scaring a lot more people than it should. Where it's just like, it's it's like it's like being at like wave pool with like and seeing like people oh. like a lot of people get buoyed up by the wave. And you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna just gonna get fucking rolled up. They like, didn't, yeah. they didn't separate the two things. Right, like yeah. the bad part is that it's just a very contagious flu, right? Yeah, you wouldn't want to be around someone who has the fucking flu. But to say, like, you know, oh, it, it has a higher kill rate ratio, flu. It's like yes, it also has a much lower amount of people who have been infected than the flu. Yeah. It's a lot less and widespread than the flu. The initial area that it's spread in is China, which yeah. doesn't exactly have the best of healthcare. Or the best um air. Yeah. yeah. For when, you know, you have a respiratory uh illness going on. Yeah. Um just stop breathing air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forehead. <laughs> yeah, it's very 
it's very important that how the the worst again and and worst part even like after that is not only how this kind kind of came up up but because of the panic it kind of becomes a self fulfilling prophecy right it's like because people believe that it's a zombie prophecy people are or some zombie apocalypse people are acting like it's a zombie apocalypse and like economies are shutting down supply chains are going out the window you know services are you know going down stuff like that so it's very very messed up situation yeah oh well. um, uh other than that, uh, pretty good, huh? <laughs> pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Other than that, what's your, what's your shout out? Everything's cheaper. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh no! I accidentally joined Here's the whole awesome. live server. Help! All right, get, get me out. But um, I had one a while ago, but uh, I think um, I think I'll just shout out um. See, I kind of want to shout out Granblue, but then I, I kind of don't because I have a lot of issues with the game. But um, I think I will shout out. Uh, I'll do a tentative uh, excitement shout out for um, the fact that uh, at the end of the month, um, Yoko Taro is going to be doing a apparently a special live stream. Uh, for the uh, near series uh, 10th anniversary um, and they said they were doing something big um, I hope that means I'm not going to be disappointed um, because the stream is apparently happening on my birthday that would be a real downer happy birthday but I'm excited so yeah pretty good pretty good uh Toast, what do you have for us? Shout out to college, please. I accidentally joined the Hollow Life Resistance server, and uh, and they're bombarding me with Matsuri, Matsuri emotes. I, I want them. Spire, add them. No, <laughs> bro, get nitro. I should, but I don't want to. What? What? what, what so, what, what are we saying? Shout out to college, bro. Shut up. Uh. To the arc raid, sure. I, I I didn't watch it, but congrats, I guess. Sure. Oh, okay. What? Ah, oh, no. Ah, what? You, you know, the, you, you, you know the one, right? The arc raid, the Hollow Life one. I didn't watch it, but congrats, I guess. Okay, sure. And uh, shout shout, shout out for is it? Is to Toa being on probation for a week. I mean, I get oh, it. Right, I, right. I get it. But, like, I get it. This is basically her second offense, but... Oh, no, not not to her. I, I, my shout-out my shot is to the people who hate on her. You should call out. Don't, call yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah. You, what, what's the word? Aunties? Get out of here. I mean, she... She, she, pan, she what panicked. What was her first offense? The, the webcam incident with uh, Kiryu Koko? Oh. Again, well, these incidents happen from time to time. It's, I mean, it's very unfortunate. But, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you don't know what happened, she was playing this Apex thing where she needed to win three w games so she could stop streaming. And then dur during, during one of those games or whatever, or when she was AFK, people heard a male, two male voices on stream. And you know, all, all the rumors are flying around. She she panicked and said it was her managers, but in reality, it was just some of her Apex friends from like another Discord or whatever. So it, she, she's on probation because you know this is the second incident. She lied. I mean, no no one's gonna no one's gonna hate on her for lying. Like, cause she she panicked, you know. If she would have, if she would have been honest and said, "Oops, this is that's my other Discord or whatever," then th this would have been this would have been thrown on or you know water under bridge thrown away. But now people are saying that she has to she has to uh, she has to quit Hollow Life because she messed up. No, don't don't do that. 
again, it's it's very unfortunate, but uh, it's it's. Uh, Hollow Lives not a real idol group. It's not like that. Not anymore. What the fuck are you talking about? They're treating exactly like an idol group. Not, like, anyways, no, no, this is not. not a conversation. Yes, they are. Shut up. Uh, what do you have for your shout out? I'm done. Oh, he's done. You I did already did it. I'm done. Oh yeah, because you did the shout out before. Uh, dark. Um, spoken like a Niji Sanji fan. Uh <laughs> shut up, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, uh dark. That's called. But um. Oh my god, they have so many emotes. Shout outs to uh. Dude, shout outs, shout outs to the Crunchyroll originals still exist. Bro, don't do that. Bro, shout outs to that. Like, <laughs> yeah, we all thought, we all thought High Guardian Spice was gone. You know, we thought we were never going to see it. Ever. We lost all hope. Did they reconfirm that that's still coming out? Yeah, that was that was literally I, one I of the thumbnail, like the cover, the show, like art thing. I don't shown want them. I don't want them to Crunchyroll make... originals coming. I don't want them to make a trailer about the anime. I want them to make more behind the scenes trailers. that just show. <laughs> yeah, I want them to make. I want more them to make more behind that, the scenes trailers that, that confirm just, illegal yeah, they, hiring practices. Yeah, they just admit to illegal hiring practices. That's really nice. I like it. <laughs> I'm I'm so like I am so excited. I can't wait. Um Oh my god. Dude, I saw that thumbnail and like I my fucking like heart almost jumped out of my fucking chest. Yeah. Like I thought it was gone. But it's not. It's great. <laughs> it's gonna be some of the worst shit ever made and I can't wait to see it. Sp- Spire. What what's what's yep. the what's the average uh, emote emote limit in a Discord server? What do you mean average? I don't know. I don't think, it, think there is. Yeah, there's two hundred sixty-six images in the Hollow Life Resistance. That's because well, they're that's fucking they all retards who pour money into that shit. Okay. Oh yeah, that reminds me of what my call out's gonna be actually. Yeah, okay. Which is good because I didn't have one at first. I'm calling out something that Aspire's called out. I'm calling out the whack ass VTuber sub channel because uh, I started uh, experiencing those. And how live moments? How live moments fucking sucks. How live moments has some of the worst subs I've ever fucking seen in my entire they, life. Yo, they, but, they're they're you know, a congregate. It depends on who's subbing what. Yeah, you, you know what? Like, you know what's really funny? Okay, so after so this is a little aside. I don't necessarily this. want to mention it, but it's like I started subbing stuff for a VTuber. Well, well, Check out Spire's too, right? channel. Link link provided <laughs> below. But um, the the thing is, it's like after I started doing that, and then I called out people. Right? People got so butt hurt. So it's like almost like on every video, it'll. So it's like let's just have like random shit where like people are grousing. Like some one person was just like, "Oh, you're so lazy. You didn't hard code your subs." I'm like, even if I hard coded my subs, it would be exactly the same as my CC. <laughs> it would be it would be exactly the same, but it would be pink. It's like oh, you're using weird. YouTube CCs. Yeah. yeah. Good because they're more fucking readable. Yeah, again, it's um, like, it's like, I, also I, like, I like I would like jiggle them around because like, like I, go back and change. Uh, hollow yeah, live exactly. moments. <laughs> Hollow live okay. moments, fucking. It depends on who's subbing it. Sometimes they're good. Either way, though, the colors they use are fucking insane. They're like, oh yeah, this is a Matsuri stream, bro. Matsuri orange, better use orange. <laughs> hey All man, hey man. Like, that's... By the way, her entire fucking stream backdrop is orange. It's like yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like that is the that is the last color you should be using. Hey man, li- <laughs> like, like, Liger oh, wait, translations are also wait, orange. Have... Yeah, yeah, that's where they got it from. Uh, yeah, well, I guess translations are are good. They're or, they're orange and white though. Um, in my in my experience, I've seen ligers. Ligers have seemed uh, pretty good. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's like it's not like I was saying like everybody should like there are plenty of like no, these, but there's like Hollow Live and VVV like Hollow yeah, moments and fucking VVV VVV. Yeah, there's also a lot. Oh, fucking insanely bad. It's it's in it's. To me, like what got me though with Hollow Live moments, I'm not even like, oh, okay, broken English. Like, I'm not gonna give that a pass, but I'm gonna be like, all right, I see where you're coming from. But yeah. the most bizarre thing I've seen with Hollow Live moments is it's like 
they have the broken English, but then for like the same phrases in Japanese, they use like eight different fucking words in English. Yeah. Like, I, I, I a, like it a, when a, they a use. A hollow lie, not a hollow lie. A VTuber will say like fucking Kimoi like three times in a row, and they'll for some reason decide to translate it to disgusting. <laughs> then creepy, then weird, like back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's in, like, the, in the same what? sentence. Yeah, yeah. It's like, why the fuck? Like, why are you doing? Like, stop <laughs> translating like that. <laughs> like, what? It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, I that's forget. Because that's that's because that's exactly how uh, girls in real life speak. Okay, <laughs> dark. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they they, like all, a, they, they it's search like in their head for multiple the choice question. And it's like, what does Kimoi translate to? And the translator is just like. All of the above. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's like it's like when yes. you machine translate. It's like when you machine translate, and you get like all the different results. It's like they were like, "Well, I don't know which one it should be, so let's just use all of them." <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Again, people it's are very. It's fucking weird. Um, people are like, "Well, you you're uh, like you know referring back to my, when I'm doing it." So people are like, "Well, you're not perfect. You you do blah 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 stuff too." I'm just like. Uh, fuck I, it's not that i'm saying that i'm perfect or the best but it's like we gotta have standards right like come on man <laughs> come on man we gotta you gotta at some yeah, point and the we, standards is you know orange on orange yeah <laughs> like like actual grammar actual spelling come on yeah, yeah, yeah. come on guys <laughs> so literally one time i saw one guy translate something i think i mentioned this um once but it's like it was the first line of the video like literally the first line of the video and he misspelled like from i'm just like dude yeah like how is anybody calling me lazy when you have this guy literally misspelling the first thing he sees on his video but spire <laughs> like, i mean the worst part is when you miss like if you if they're hard coding their subs and no, it's yeah misspelling yeah. shit like yeah like how fucking bad uh like like how actually because it pops up at you <laughs> like how genuinely dumb do you have to be to go into like basically whatever like editing software you're using just to add yeah. subs right type it all out you know uh code it in export it and then right. upload it and be like like just not even spell check you know? so wait a minute i didn't proofread anything i <laughs> translated yeah like, yeah <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot of work to not be proofreading yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, that's a like, lot of time that's a lot rendering of rendering a really fucking, fucking lazy like it's yeah, so rendering weird. a 15 minute video like that is a lot of fucking time and processing power yeah. to, and like, you have to do just, it every time you make the smallest mistakes yeah to throw away like not spell checking. i i guess you know what i guess fair enough that's the only way to do it. Then you're either going to spell check everything, or you're not going to fucking check a single thing. <laughs> it, it reminds me of um, the torrent site where it's or on Ya or stuff like that, where it's like, you know, it's like you see like, as, like, be, or like this was a little bit more prevalent before, but it's like sometimes you used to see like episode blah blah version seven, and you're like, yeah. all right, what, what went on here? <laughs> what went wrong, bro? <laughs> like, how? We, like, what happened? But yeah. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. Actually, no, the best example, thinking of it now, I think is a, uh, is one of the, um, convenience store, uh, compilations. If you watch one of those, that's the best, whichever one's from Hollow Live Moments. Uh, oh, one, if yeah. you, yeah, if you peep one of those, that's the best way to see it. Cause I think it's like two, like three people back to back say, like, fucking, uh, I forget you say in Japanese. It's like shine or whatever, like a, a full phrase. Yeah, yeah, it was just basically like, everyone was just saying like, "All right, go die." Yeah, yeah and yeah. like they fucking they they sub uh, Matsuri is like, "Go fuck yourself." They sub like someone else is a completely different thing, and I'm like, "Yeah, they literally yeah. all just said the same thing." They yeah, that's that's just why I the really same try thing. to. If I can, I really try to not change like if i have the same word like i try to keep it consistent at least within the video or even across videos unless it's like a very different context where it's yeah. like stuff like it eh, like can be literally actually Nani. like you might say yeah but um yeah it's it's very that's, anyway. that's what you have when you have like 12 different people subbing one per per like one per hollow liver I mean, again, I don't. It's like, it's like. Yeah, and it's, when it's they're like, like the fucking, well, what are they like, the Billy Billy fucking? 
yeah. suppers or whatever. Yeah, those yeah. guys are great. Like, Oof. Oof. Those guys are great. Like, you oh. boys are dealing with fucking three different languages, two of yeah. which you probably don't grasp. Yeah. But only the Billy Be- Billy people use the arrows for Pekora, so... Yo, I, Dark, you should be you should be grateful. How dare you? Yeah, I should be myself. grateful that yeah, I can yeah, look at fucking, just, like, pretzel yeah. inputs while I'm yeah. fucking... Checking it's out some Pekora bad, clips. How come you're bad-mouthing them so much? You're so elitist. Oh my god. This is legitimately yeah. the shit I get, like, all the day right now. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I mean, it's not good when I'm sitting there and I see like a fucking like how like arc clip from Matsuri and I click on it and I see the subs for five seconds and I'm like, you know what? I will actually do better without these. <laughs> <It's wrong. laughs> like, I'm, it's like I'm going in blind, boys. And yeah. I got the, you know, I got the gist of the full conversation. What, of, what <laughs> anyway. about what about the uh, do you do you like the ones where they uh translate the the english streams with kiryu koko and hato and you can obviously tell that they're esl i don't watch those oh you, you, you want you, you want some here i got some i don't really you. watch uh, i don't I, really watch uh koko anyway but yeah. either way like uh, yeah, yeah send me those though actually All i right. do want to look at them because that I, seems like a lot of fun i like it when they <laughs> when they misspelled beautiful girl something else oh, all right well we should we should we should have this discussion a little bit more later but it's like anyway uh my shout out to calls real quick my call out is i guess to coronavirus but it's similar to what year said where it's just like a lot of people are kind of well, not even the media it's like people are overreacting to it and kind of doing whatever it's like if if you're infected you should you know as you do with the flu you should recuperate and stay home right um but if you're okay, it's kind of like whatever. But it's like a lot of people are panicking. It's like the end of the world and all that stuff. We've had like what? How many? How many uh, epidemics in the past 10, 10, 20 years since two thousand? There was swine oh. flu. There was, there was a, H1N1, SARS. Yeah. One, yeah, well, maybe one. SARS was certainly a lot worse. Yeah, H1N1 has like like twenty times more like of a death rate or something like that like than <laughs> fucking a flu. But anyways. Or not the flu, but coronavirus. But either way, um, I get the concerns, but it's just like, it, it's not a zombie apocalypse. Not yet. But anyways, not yet. That's, yeah. called, that's, called, that's called mutations because there's no cure. That's called what? Well, that's called season two uh, available on yeah, Netflix. There's no cure for uh, coronavirus right now. Yeah. So that they can mutate. Yeah. But um, I mean, there's no cure for the flu either. Or the vir- viral stuff in but yeah, anyways, that was my call out. Uh, and my shout out is to uh, freaking. Shout out to Spire's YouTube channel, twitch.tv no, slash. Please, YouTube.com slash Firewrecker. Please stop. Um, my shout out is actually to. I don't know whether I should say this because it's like I feel like I'm. Do it. There's no. There's I, no judges here except me. Um. Fuck. I. I feel kind of okay. I feel, in a sense, grateful to Psy Games for porting the PC stuff at a not atrocious time, but it's still a dick sucking fest. You know, near you get you get what I'm saying right here with this, <laughs> where it's like. Yes, it's like it's not the PC version isn't like out a year after, you know, when everybody's done and it's just like Mad Max <laughs> in that play. But yeah. um it's also still the full sixty dollars without the codes and like we don't know how good the port's actually gonna be and it's like all the stick sucking, you know what I mean? Where it's like you could have Yeah, it's side games. Side games. I mean I would have bought that shit on <laughs> DC if it had the codes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I don't like like like, usually I'm like okay, well you should you should get it for PC because it's like it'll usually have the better performance and everything else, right? But it's like how can I blame somebody for taking PS4 when it's like they didn't know you know when PC would come out and also when PS4 has the codes, so it's like you know you can just get it on discount so stuff like that. Um, essentially you can sell you can sell the Grand Blue related codes and just get the discount. So it's like I. I don't know. I'm okay. I'm okay with this, but not really. So I guess like a l- lukewarm shout it's out double, to it's a double edged sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's fucked up. But anyways, 
that'll be it for our shoutouts and callouts. And with that, we are done with pretty much our winter 2020 reviews overall. And we will do our you know infamous preview shows for spring 2020 next episode. And that should give us enough time for a couple of episodes from spring 2020 to come out. And we'll jump right into the spring 2020 reviews afterwards. So watch out for that. Again, it'll be spring. You know, people are coming up. So it'll probably be the usual, you know, 35, 40-ish um, series coming up. So check out for that. Check us out uh, when we cover that. And with that, uh, if you do like what we do, we stream every other Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash 4 That's with the number four, where we talk about the latest and greatest in Japanese animation media. That's anime, manga, light novels, web novels, visual novels, and so much more. We stream our, again, our podcast recordings live on here, so you can chat with us, interact with us, so on and so forth. If you missed our stream, you can catch us on the Twitch VOD available here, as well as on our YouTube channel, 4 Player Anime Cast. So you can do it whichever format you want. If you want to keep uh, updated with what's going on, on with our podcast, you can catch us on our social media, on Facebook, 4 Player Anime Cast, and on Twitter, for handle at 4PP Anime Cast, all with the number 4, the numeral 4. And yeah, we'll see you next time.